secrets to attracting a specific person into your life. When talking about relationships, especially the desire to attract a particular person, many people often seek to influence the outside, trying to impress, influence, or change the other person's emotions. Attracting a particular person is not about manipulating or winning feelings by appearance. Instead, it's about building an authentic and engaging presence with confidence and bravery. When you live up to your values and maintain integrity, you will naturally exude a powerful attraction. In this video, we will explore together the secret to attracting a specific person into your life. A stoic perspective. Let's get started. 1. Focus on personal growth instead of seeking attention. It's easy to get caught up in the need for validation and attention from others. We often measure our self-worth by the number of likes, comments, or compliments we receive from friends, colleagues, and even strangers. However, Stoic philosophy, an ancient school of thought from Roman times, offers a different and more empowering perspective. Instead of seeking attention, focus on personal growth. Anna's Journey From Seeking Approval to Inner Confidence Anna is a 26-year-old digital marketer living in New York City. Every day she spent hours scrolling through Instagram, comparing her life to friends traveling the world and colleagues celebrating career milestones. Although she was hardworking, Anna often felt inadequate and believed that getting more attention was the key to her self-worth. One day, Anna started dating John, a charming and successful man. But instead of feeling fulfilled in the relationship, she found herself constantly anxious. She tried hard to impress John, wearing eye-catching outfits and finding every excuse to text him or post updates on social media to catch his attention. Yet, she felt insecure and exhausted, especially when John didn't respond the way she hoped. After some time, a friend introduced Anna to Stoic philosophy. She began reading works by Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, and one quote resonated deeply with her. You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Anna realized that she couldn't control John's thoughts or emotions, but she could control her own actions and mindset. Rather than obsessing over gaining his attention, she decided to focus on improving herself and restoring balance in her life. Shifting Focus Control What You Can Stoic philosophy emphasizes that we should focus only on what we can control, our actions, thoughts, and reactions. Anna began adopting new habits to enhance her life without being preoccupied with John's attention, taking care of her physical and mental health. Anna started practicing yoga and meditation every morning, helping her stay centered and calm in the present moment. Improving her professional skills, instead of comparing herself to others, Anna enrolled in marketing courses and read books in her field. This not only enhanced her skills, but also boosted her confidence at work. Building Genuine Connections Anna learned to appreciate the relationships she already had and spent more time with family and friends. She discovered that self-worth doesn't come from fleeting attention, but from meaningful connections and self-acceptance. Attraction through confidence and independence. An interesting thing happened. When Anna stopped seeking John's attention, he became more interested and proactive in the relationship. However, by this time, Anna was no longer dependent on his approval. She realized that true attraction comes from confidence and independence, from living authentically and not trying to control how others feel. As Marcus Aurelius wisely said, waste no more time arguing what a good man should be. Be one. Anna understood that when you live according to your values, you no longer need to seek validation from others. Instead, people are naturally drawn to your self-assuredness and authenticity. Be true to yourself, not the approval of others. Anna's story perfectly illustrates the lesson of Stoic philosophy. Happiness doesn't come from the approval of others, but from how you treat and develop yourself. When you master your thoughts and actions, you create a sense of peace and confidence that stays with you in any situation. Here are a few practical takeaways to apply stoicism in your life. Stop comparing yourself to others. Focus on your personal growth rather than measuring yourself against others. Commit to daily self-improvement. 
Build new skills and healthy habits that align with your goals. Let go of expectations. Don't try to change or control how others feel. Focus on doing your best. Emotional independence. Remember, your worth isn't determined by external attention, but by how you love and respect yourself. Finding strength from within. Stoic philosophy teaches us that focusing on personal growth is the best way to find happiness and success. When you stop chasing external validation and concentrate on becoming the best version of yourself, you naturally develop a magnetic presence that attracts others without effort. As Anna discovered, attraction isn't something you force. It flows from inner confidence and peace. By living in alignment with your values, you not only attract the right people, but also build meaningful and lasting relationships. Your life will become more fulfilling when you stop depending on external validation. Instead of seeking attention, focus on becoming someone you're proud of. When you do, the best things in life will come to you naturally. 2. Mastering Emotions and Staying Calm In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get swept up in negative emotions. Small conflicts in relationships, work stress, or daily life challenges can cause us to lose our cool. However, Stoic philosophy offers a different perspective. Stay calm in all situations and don't let emotions control you. By doing so, not only will you maintain inner peace, but you'll also become naturally attractive as others are drawn to your stability and composure. The following story about Michael, a banker living in New York, illustrates the power of emotional mastery and staying calm when facing challenges in both love and life. Michael's Story from insecurity to composure, Michael, a 32-year-old working in finance in New York City, often found himself stressed from the demands of his job. After ending a long-term relationship, Michael felt lonely and decided to give online dating a try. That's how he met Emily, and they immediately hit it off. At first, everything was going well. But over time, Emily's responses to his texts started to slow, and her enthusiasm seemed to fade. Michael began feeling anxious, worried he might have done something wrong. Whenever Emily didn't respond quickly, he became obsessed, checking his phone every few minutes and overanalyzing every interaction. Amidst his anxiety, a friend introduced Michael to Stoic philosophy. One quote from Epictetus stood out to him. It's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. Michael realized that he couldn't control Emily's thoughts or emotions, but he had full control over how he responded. From that moment, he committed to practicing Stoic principles to master his emotions and remain calm. Staying calm in the face of uncertainty, letting go of control over others. Michael understood that he couldn't force Emily to reciprocate his feelings immediately. The only thing he could control was his own behavior and self-respect. He stopped checking his phone obsessively and focused on activities that brought him joy. Focusing on what's within his control. Instead of worrying about how Emily would react, Michael turned his attention inward. He took better care of himself, started working out more, read financial books, and practiced meditation to stay emotionally grounded. He realized that his happiness didn't depend on someone else's response. Living in the moment. Michael learned to enjoy the present without being preoccupied with uncertain outcomes. He decided to express his feelings honestly to Emily without expecting anything in return. Calmness as a natural magnet. Interestingly, once Michael stopped seeking Emily's attention, she became more engaged and interested. She was drawn to his stability and confidence, qualities that made him more attractive because he no longer depended on external validation. As Marcus Aurelius once said, tranquility is strength. When you stay calm under pressure, you emit an energy that makes others feel safe and comfortable. People are naturally drawn to someone who is steady and in control of their emotions. Mastering your emotions for a happier life. Michael's story shows how Stoic philosophy can transform both your relationships and your life. When you gain control over your emotions and don't let them dominate you, you become stronger, and others are drawn to your composure. Here are a few key lessons from Stoic philosophy that can help you. Don't try to control others. You can only control your own actions and thoughts. 
Let others express their feelings freely. Release unrealistic expectations. Don't place too much weight on outcomes. Focus on doing your best. Take care of yourself. Engage in activities that make you happy and help you grow. Enjoy the present moment. Don't dwell on the past or worry about the future. Find joy in what's happening right now. True strength comes from within. Stoic philosophy teaches that calmness is true strength. When you stop letting emotions control you and start living with emotional discipline, you'll find greater peace and confidence. As Michael discovered, stability and composure become a natural magnet, making others feel secure and drawn to you. Life won't always go as planned, and you can't control how others think or feel. But you can always control how you respond to any situation. When you do that, not only will your life feel lighter, but your relationships will also become more meaningful and genuine. The next time you feel anxious or uncertain about someone's feelings, maintain your self-respect and stay calm. Focus on personal growth and enjoying the present. When you become the best version of yourself, the right things will naturally fall into place. Number 3. Applying the Rule of Focusing on What You Can Control Let's follow the story of David, a graphic designer living in Chicago, to understand how applying this principle helped him find happiness and inner peace. David, a 29-year-old freelance graphic designer, loves creativity and works at a design studio in Chicago. Recently, he started a new relationship with Sarah, a warm and energetic elementary school teacher. In the beginning, everything went well. But after a few weeks, David began to feel anxious because Sarah wasn't texting as much as she used to. He worried that she was losing interest in him and made the mistake of trying to control how she responded to keep their connection strong. David started texting Sarah frequently, waiting for immediate replies. When she didn't respond quickly, he grew frustrated and began to question her feelings. Feeling stuck, David came across Stoic philosophy, and one quote from Epictetus stood out. Some things are beyond your control. Focus on what you can control, yourself. David realized that he couldn't force Sarah to express her feelings the way he wanted. The only thing within his control was his own behavior and mindset. And that shift changed how he approached the situation. Applying the principle of focusing on what you can control. Change your mindset and stay calm. David understood that Sarah's slower responses didn't necessarily mean she was losing interest. Instead of overanalyzing, he chose to remain calm and trust in his sincerity. He accepted that he couldn't control her emotions or actions, but he could control how he reacted. Act with sincerity, not pursuit. Instead of bombarding Sarah with texts and worrying about her responses, David decided to express his feelings sincerely, without expectations. He sent kind messages wishing her a good day and focused on making their time together enjoyable and meaningful. Patience as a strength. David learned the importance of patience. He realized that every relationship takes time to grow, and the best thing he could do was stay true to himself and allow things to develop naturally. The benefits of focusing on what you can control. Something interesting happened. When David stopped trying to control Sarah and adjusted his attitude, she became more engaged in the relationship. Sarah felt more comfortable around David because his calmness and confidence took the pressure off her. As Marcus Aurelius once said, The tranquility of your mind begins when you stop worrying about things outside your control. David not only found comfort in his relationship but also discovered inner peace. He realized that when you focus on yourself and stop trying to change others, you become happier and more self-assured in all situations. Master yourself, not others. David's story demonstrates how Stoic philosophy can improve both relationships and personal well-being. Here are some key lessons you can apply in your own life. Focus on your actions and attitude. Don't try to control how others respond. Instead, focus on managing your own behavior and mindset. Be patient and respect time. Every relationship needs time to grow. Practice patience and let things unfold naturally. Be sincere without expectations. Express your feelings genuinely, but avoid placing too many expectations on how others will react. Stay calm in all situations. 
remember that staying calm and composed helps you face challenges effectively. True strength lies in mastering yourself. Stoic philosophy teaches that focusing on what you can control is the key to peace and happiness. When you stop trying to control others and instead focus on improving yourself, your relationships improve and you feel lighter and more content. David's story reminds us that sincerity and patience create natural attraction. When you express your feelings truthfully without forcing things, the right people will naturally enter your life. So the next time you feel stuck in a relationship or a difficult situation, remember to focus on what you can control. Don't chase or try to control other people's emotions. Master yourself and show patience. When you become the best version of yourself, the best things in life will naturally come to you. 4. The Power of Silence and Patience Sometimes silence is your most powerful weapon. It teaches us to stay calm, composed, and patient, especially when things don't go as we expect. Instead of forcing a response or action, we let time do its work, trusting that the right moment will come. Olivia, a 28-year-old software engineer, recently moved to San Francisco to work at a tech startup. Balancing work in a new city was challenging, but Olivia soon connected with James, a creative writer she met at a local cafe. They hit it off instantly, enjoying deep conversations and weekend adventures. However, after a few months, James began pulling back. His texts became less frequent, and he didn't seem as available as before. Olivia felt confused and anxious. She wondered if she had done something wrong or if James had lost interest. Instinctively, she wanted to reach out more, sending multiple messages, trying to reignite their connection. But her efforts seemed to push James further away. Feeling overwhelmed, Olivia turned to the practice of Stoic philosophy. She came across a quote by Marcus Aurelius that deeply resonated with her. Silence is a lesson in itself, especially when used in response to things you cannot control. Olivia realized that the more she tried to control the situation, the more anxious she became. She decided to take a step back, stop overanalyzing James's behavior, and practice silence and patience. Practicing silence and patience, a stoic approach. 1. Giving space and respecting boundaries. Olivia recognized that James needed space, and instead of bombarding him with messages, she chose to give him the freedom to breathe. She reminded herself that everyone processes emotions and relationships at their own pace, and forcing someone to engage when they aren't ready rarely leads to meaningful connection. 2. Finding peace in stillness. Rather than anxiously waiting for James's response, Olivia decided to focus on her own life and well-being. She started journaling her thoughts, practicing mindfulness, and rediscovering hobbies she loved, such as photography and hiking. Olivia realized that her happiness didn't depend on someone else's attention, but on her ability to find joy within herself. The 3. Trusting the Process Through Stoic teachings, Olivia learned the value of trusting the process and allowing things to unfold naturally. She reminded herself that forcing things would only create tension. True connection comes from a place of authenticity, not pressure. The Impact of Silence and Patience a few weeks passed, and Olivia noticed something surprising. James reached out. He apologized for being distant, explaining that he had been overwhelmed with personal issues. He told Olivia that her calmness and understanding meant a lot to him, and that he appreciated her patience. By giving James the space he needed, Olivia demonstrated emotional maturity and stability, qualities that strengthened their connection. Her silence wasn't an absence, it was a presence filled with calmness and trust. As Epictetus said, We have two ears and one mouth so that we can listen twice as much as we speak. This quote reminded Olivia that sometimes the most powerful thing we can do is listen and wait. Lessons from Olivia's story The Power of Silence and Patience Olivia's experience highlights some valuable lessons about the power of silence and patience. Silence creates space for reflection. When you stop trying to control or force a situation, you create room for both yourself and others to reflect and reconnect. Patience builds stronger connections. Relationships thrive when given time to grow. 
Practicing patience shows emotional stability and trust, which are essential for meaningful connections. Silence is a sign of strength, not weakness. Choosing not to react immediately is a sign of strength. It demonstrates that you can control your emotions and trust the natural flow of events. Focus on what you can control. You can't control how others feel or react, but you can control how you respond. When you focus on your own well-being and peace of mind, you attract healthier connections. Applying silence and patience in daily life. If you find yourself in a situation where someone isn't, isn't responding the way you hoped, consider practicing silence and patience. Here are a few practical ways to apply this stoic approach. Give others the freedom to breathe. Avoid overwhelming someone with texts or calls. Give them space to come to you on their own. Practice mindfulness. When anxiety creeps in, take a moment to breathe, journal, or meditate. This will help you stay grounded and calm. Stay busy with your own life. Engage in activities that bring you joy and fulfillment. This will shift your focus from waiting for a response to nurturing yourself. Trust the timing. Remind yourself that everything happens in its own time. Forcing things won't bring the outcome you desire. Embrace the power of silence and patience. Silence and patience are powerful tools that can transform your relationships and your personal well-being. As Olivia's story shows, giving others space and trusting the process allows connections to grow naturally. Silence isn't about ignoring someone or withdrawing emotionally. It's about creating room for reflection and authenticity. When you embrace patience and resist the urge to control others, you not only improve your relationships but also find a deeper sense of peace within yourself. Happiness doesn't come from forcing responses or attention from others. It comes from knowing that you are enough, just as you are. So the next time you feel tempted to send that extra message or force a reaction, pause, breathe, and trust in the power of silence and patience. When you let go of control and focus on your own growth, the right people and experiences will naturally find their way into your life. 5. Showcase your values instead of trying to change others. In relationships, we often fall into the trap of trying to change others to meet our expectations. Whether it's wanting a partner to be more attentive, a friend to be more punctual, or a colleague to be less demanding, these efforts can lead to frustration and tension. Let's dive into the story of Ryan, a software engineer living in Austin, Texas, to see how he learned to showcase his values instead of trying to change his partner and how this shift transformed his relationship. Ryan and Emily. From expectations to personal integrity. Ryan, a 30-year-old working in tech at a startup in Austin, had been dating Emily, a free-spirited freelance designer. Their relationship started off strong, but after a few months, Ryan began feeling a growing distance between them. He wanted Emily to prioritize their relationship more and spend more time with him. Instead of communicating his feelings constructively, Ryan began subtly trying to change Emily, hoping she would align with his expectations. However, his attempts to make her more engaged only made her feel pressured, causing her to pull further away. Emily, who deeply valued her independence, felt stifled by Ryan's efforts to control the relationship. Frustrated, Ryan turned to Stoic philosophy and found wisdom in a quote by Epictetus. Don't seek to change others. Instead, master yourself. He realized that trying to change Emily was something he couldn't control. The only thing within his control was his own behavior and mindset. With this realization, Ryan decided to let go of unrealistic expectations and focus on living according to his own values. Applying the principle of showcasing your values. Living by your principles and values. Ryan understood that if he wanted a relationship based on mutual respect, he needed to become a person of integrity and reliability. Rather than trying to change Emily, Ryan focused on improving himself. He respected Emily's time and interests while maintaining his own principles, such as keeping promises and showing kindness. Supporting instead of controlling, Ryan learned to support Emily rather than pressure her to change. He started listening more attentively to her needs and appreciated the things that brought her joy. 
He realized that her freedom and independence were essential parts of who she was, and chose to encourage her to be herself, practicing self-control. Instead of control over others, through self-discipline, Ryan stopped feeling the need to control Emily. He learned to stay calm and not overreact when things didn't go his way. This change made Emily feel safer and more respected, because Ryan gave her the space to be herself without judgment or pressure. Attraction through integrity and self-mastery. When Ryan stopped trying to change Emily and focused on living according to his values, their relationship began to improve. Emily felt more comfortable and natural around Ryan because he no longer placed unrealistic demands on her. As Marcus Aurelius once said, waste no more time arguing about what a good person should be, be one. Ryan discovered that true attraction comes from living authentically. By becoming the best version of himself, he created a positive and safe environment for their relationship to grow naturally. The Value of Integrity and Self-Control Ryan's story teaches us that trying to change others often leads to frustration and conflict. Instead, by showcasing your values and living with integrity, you naturally attract the right people into your life. Here are a few key lessons from Ryan's experience. Focus on yourself. Instead of trying to control or change others, focus on improving and developing yourself. Respect differences. Everyone has their own lifestyle and values. Rather than imposing your expectations, learn to respect those differences. Control your actions and emotions. You can't control how others feel or behave, but you can control how you respond to situations. Integrity is the strongest form of attraction. When you live according to your values, you create a natural magnetism that draws positive relationships into your life. Building lasting relationships by staying true to yourself. Stoic philosophy teaches that peace and happiness come from staying true to your own values, not from changing others. When you focus on self-improvement and live with integrity, you create a positive environment where authentic relationships can thrive. Ryan's story reminds us that self-control and integrity are powerful tools for improving both ourselves and our relationships. When you stop imposing expectations on others and instead become the best version of yourself, you attract the right people naturally. So, the next time you feel stuck in a relationship or frustrated with someone's behavior, remember, trying to change others isn't the answer. Focus instead on showcasing your values and living by your principles. When you stay true to who you are, you create the space for love and respect to grow naturally. 6. Respecting Boundaries In any relationship, whether romantic, friendship, or professional, learning to respect boundaries is essential for building trust, harmony, and long-lasting connections. Let's explore this principle through the story of Ethan, a young professional living in Denver, Colorado. His journey toward understanding and practicing respect for boundaries transformed his relationships and provided valuable lessons in emotional maturity and trust. Ethan, a 32-year-old project manager, moved to Denver for a new job and quickly became friends with Sophie, a fellow colleague. They spent time together hiking, trying out new coffee shops, and attending local events. Over time, Ethan began developing feelings for Sophie and hoped to take their friendship to the next level. However, Sophie made it clear that she wasn't looking for a romantic relationship at the time. Ethan, initially disappointed, found it difficult to accept Sophie's boundary. He tried to convince her to spend more time together, hoping that she might eventually change her mind. But the more Ethan tried to push the relationship forward, the more Sophie pulled back. Their connection began to feel strained, and Ethan realized that his actions were not only disrespecting Sophie's boundaries, but also jeopardizing their friendship. That's when Ethan came across Stoic philosophy and a quote by Marcus Aurelius. Accept the things to which fate binds you, and love the people with whom fate brings you together, but do so with all your heart. This quote made Ethan realize that respecting Sophie's boundaries was not a sign of defeat, but a mark of maturity. If he truly valued her presence in his life, he needed to respect her decisions and be a supportive friend without expecting more. 
Applying the Stoic Principle of Respecting Boundaries Accepting What You Cannot Control Ethan understood that he couldn't control Sophie's feelings or choices. Instead of trying to change her mind, he accepted her boundary gracefully. This acceptance gave him a sense of peace, knowing that he had control over his own behavior and attitude, not someone else's emotions. Offering Support Without Expectations Rather than distancing himself from Sophie out of frustration, Ethan chose to maintain the friendship with sincerity. He realized that genuine connections are built on mutual respect and trust, not pressure. He became a reliable friend, offering support without expecting anything in return. Respecting space and autonomy. Ethan also learned to respect Sophie's need for space. He stopped sending frequent messages and let her initiate conversations or plans. By giving her the freedom to engage on her own terms, Ethan demonstrated maturity and emotional self-control, qualities that Sophie deeply appreciated. The Positive Impact of Respecting Boundaries Over time, something remarkable happened. Sophie began reaching out to Ethan more often. She felt safe and comfortable around him because he respected her boundaries and didn't try to impose his expectations on their friendship. Ethan's patience and maturity strengthened their bond and allowed their connection to grow naturally. As Epictetus said, We cannot choose our external circumstances, but we can always choose how we respond to them. Ethan's decision to respect Sophie's boundaries not only preserved their friendship, but also helped him grow as a person. He realized that trust and connection thrive in environments where people feel safe and respected not pressured or judged. Lessons on Respecting Boundaries, A Path to Stronger Connections Ethan's experience offers valuable insights into how respecting boundaries can lead to deeper, more meaningful relationships. Here are a few key lessons from his journey. Accept and respect others' decisions. You can't control how others feel or what they want. Respect their autonomy and accept their boundaries without judgment. Offer support without strings attached. Relationships are built on trust and sincerity. Be a reliable presence in someone's life without expecting anything in return. Give people space to be themselves. Allow others to engage with you on their own terms. Respecting their space shows emotional maturity and builds trust. Focus on what you can control. You can't change someone's boundaries, but you can control how you respond. Choose to respond with grace, respect, and patience. Practical Ways to Apply Respect for Boundaries in Everyday Life If you find yourself struggling to accept someone's boundaries, here are some practical tips to help you apply the stoic principle of respect. Listen actively. Pay attention to what the other person is saying and respect their preferences without trying to change their mind. Communicate clearly. If you're unsure about someone's boundaries, ask them directly and be open to their response. Practice patience. Give relationships time to grow naturally. Rushing or pushing someone will only create distance. Set healthy boundaries for yourself. Just as you respect others' boundaries, be mindful of setting your own and communicating them clearly. Building meaningful relationships through respect. Stoic philosophy teaches us that respecting others' boundaries is a mark of maturity and emotional self-control. When we let go of the need to control or change others, we create space for trust and genuine connection to flourish. Respecting boundaries isn't about withdrawing or distancing yourself. It's about honoring others, autonomy, and supporting them with sincerity. Ethan's story reminds us that patience, acceptance, and respect are essential ingredients for meaningful relationships. By choosing to respect Sophie's boundaries, Ethan not only preserved their friendship, but also grew as a person. His experience shows us that when we focus on what we can control, our actions, attitudes, and responses, relationships thrive naturally. So the next time you encounter someone's boundaries, remember, respect them. Don't push against them. Approach the relationship with patience and sincerity. Give the other person the space to engage with you on their own terms, and you'll build connections rooted in trust and mutual respect. In the end, the most meaningful relationships are those built on a foundation of understanding and acceptance. 7. 
Be the person you want to attract. In relationships, we often fantasize about meeting the perfect person, someone kind, patient, and understanding. But Stoic philosophy teaches us an important truth. The qualities you seek in others must first exist within you. If you want to attract someone who is patient and kind, you need to cultivate those qualities in yourself. When you focus on personal growth and embody the values you admire, you naturally draw people with similar energy into your life. This philosophy encourages us to stop waiting for the ideal person to appear and instead become the best version of ourselves. In this article, we'll explore how becoming the person you want to attract leads to happier relationships and a deeper sense of fulfillment. Through the story of Rachel, a young professional living in Los Angeles, we'll discover how embracing personal growth transformed her relationships and opened the door to meaningful connections. Rachel's journey, from searching for the perfect partner to becoming the best version of herself. Rachel, a 27-year-old marketing consultant living in Los Angeles, spent years looking for her dream partner. She imagined someone kind, patient, and emotionally stable, but her past relationships always seemed to fall short. Frustrated, Rachel found herself constantly asking, why can't I meet the right person? After a particularly disappointing date, a close friend recommended that Rachel explore Stoic philosophy. One quote by Marcus Aurelius caught her attention. Waste no more time arguing about what a good person should be. Be one. The words hit home. Rachel realized that she had spent so much time focusing on what she wanted in others that she had overlooked an essential truth. She needed to develop those qualities within herself first. If she wanted to attract kindness and patience, she had to become kind and patient, not just toward others, but also toward herself. Becoming who you want to attract, practicing self-kindness and patience. Rachel began her personal transformation by practicing kindness and patience toward herself. She realized that she often set unrealistic ex expectations and was too hard on herself when things didn't go as planned. Through journaling and meditation, she learned to speak kindly to herself and embrace progress over perfection. As Rachel became more patient with herself, she found it easier to extend that patience to others. She stopped getting frustrated with friends who didn't respond to messages immediately, or dates that didn't go perfectly. This shift in mindset reduced her stress and allowed her to enjoy her interactions without unnecessary pressure. Living by the values she admired Rachel made a list of the values she wanted in a partner kindness, honesty, patience, and emotional stability. Then she asked herself, am I living by these values every day? Instead of waiting for someone else to embody those qualities, she decided to make them a part of her daily life. She practiced honesty by being open about her feelings, even when it was uncomfortable. She worked on emotional stability by developing healthy habits, such as exercising, eating well, and managing stress. By living according to these values, Rachel felt more aligned with the kind of person she wanted to attract. Her actions and mindset became a reflection of the qualities she admired, and this shifted how she approached relationships, creating positive energy that attracts others naturally. As Rachel embraced personal growth, she noticed a remarkable change. The people around her began to respond differently. Friends and colleagues were drawn to her positive energy and calm demeanor. People enjoyed being around her because her kindness and patience were genuine, not forced. She also stopped obsessing over meeting the right person. Instead, Rachel focused on being present and enjoying each interaction for what it was. This shift in focus helped her let go of expectations and approach relationships with curiosity and openness. The Impact of Becoming the Person You Want to Attract Rachel's journey highlights the power of living in alignment with your values. When you embody the qualities you admire, you naturally attract people who resonate with those values. Over time, Rachel met Alex, a graphic designer who shared her love for personal growth and mindfulness. Their relationship flourished because it was built on mutual respect, kindness, and patience the very qualities Rachel had worked to cultivate within herself. 
Rachel realized that the best relationships don't come from trying to find someone to complete you. Instead, they come from two people who are already whole, supporting each other's growth. Lessons from Rachel's story, personal growth and authentic attraction. Rachel's experience offers valuable lessons for anyone seeking meaningful relationships. Become the person you want to attract. The qualities you seek in others, kindness, patience, honesty, must first be developed within yourself. Practice self-kindness and patience. Treat yourself with the same compassion and understanding you wish to receive from others. Live by your values. Align your actions with the values you admire. This not only improves your relationships but also gives you a sense of fulfillment. Let go of expectations. Don't obsess over finding the perfect person. Instead, enjoy each interaction and let connections develop naturally. Practical ways to apply this stoic principle in your life. If you want to start becoming the person you want to attract, here are a few practical steps. Identify the qualities you admire. Make a list of the qualities you want in a partner or friend. Then ask yourself if you embody those qualities. Practice daily acts of kindness. Whether it's holding the door for someone or offering a kind word, small acts of kindness go a long way. Work on emotional stability. Develop healthy habits that help you stay calm and centered, such as meditation, exercise, or journaling. Focus on progress, not perfection. Personal growth is a journey. Celebrate small wins and be patient with yourself. Attracting the right people by becoming your best self. Stoic philosophy teaches us that the best way to attract meaningful relationships is to become the kind of person you want to be with. When you focus on personal growth and live according to your values, you create positive energy that naturally draws others toward you. Rachel's story reminds us that fulfilling relationships start from within. By becoming patient, kind, and emotionally stable, Rachel didn't just attract the right partner. She also found greater happiness and peace within herself. So, if you're searching for meaningful connections, stop waiting for the right person to appear. Instead, focus on becoming the best version of yourself. When you embody the values you admire, you'll find that the right people will naturally gravitate toward you. And along the way, you'll discover that the most important relationship you'll ever have is the one you cultivate with yourself. Attracting a specific person into your life through the lens of stoicism isn't about control or manipulation. It's about focusing inward, mastering yourself, and becoming the kind of person that naturally draws others. The stoic mindset teaches that true attraction begins with self-discipline, emotional stability, and personal growth. When we prioritize cultivating our own values and virtues, we foster a kind of inner peace and confidence that radiates outward, making us more appealing without even trying to impress others. One of the biggest takeaways from Stoicism is the importance of detachment from outcomes. While it's normal to want to connect with someone specific, Stoicism encourages us to shift our focus from external results, such as how the other person feels, toward our internal development. When we stop relying on another person's approval for our happiness, we become emotionally independent and secure. Paradoxically, it is this detachment and inner strength that makes us more attractive, as others are drawn to those who are self-assured and at peace within themselves. Moreover, gratitude and acceptance play crucial roles in this process. Instead of obsessing over what we don't have, Stoicism urges us to appreciate the present moment and what we do have. This positive mindset creates a natural magnetism that attracts others, not through neediness, but through the authentic joy of living. When you embody gratitude and acceptance, you develop the kind of presence that people are naturally drawn to. In the end, attracting someone specific into your life is less about making things happen and more about becoming the best version of yourself. By living according to Stoic principles, mastering your thoughts, actions, and emotions, you not only improve your own life, but you also position yourself for meaningful and lasting relationships. Whether or not you attract the person you initially desire, you will have gained the most valuable gift of all, inner peace and fulfillment. This is the true secret to attraction.
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with someone who might need to hear this. Let's strive to live better, more respectful lives. Until next time, stay strong. Stay stoic.